bring you greetings from the cornfields and the campuses of Iowa, where, in many respects, the story of Barack Obama's president started. We were there as witnesses and as participants, and I believe that was why when Bangladesh wanted to uh, do this book, he looked to know them about the publishing house in the state of Iowa. And it's significant that he didn't just uh, pontificate and talk about his own ideas. He decided to do what Obama would have done, which is to go out in the streets, out to the nukes and crimes of this country, and talk to ordinary people, and get to have their take on how Obama relates to black America. And there is also a portion that uh, looks into the horizon talks about 2012, his prospects for 2012. And so we, we felt it was a thing of honor. We felt it was a special privilege to, to be part of this project. Uh, Global Mac Makers is for something like this, something unique, something that is not just uh, like every other book they find out there, because it's, it's he synthesized opinions. He, Many a time when we are talking about these issues, we don't, uh, we don't go to the nurse out there, we don't go to the teacher out there. We go to those who are high and mighty in society. And here we have ordinary folks. And in Iowa, we got two people. We got uh, the, the executive director of the African American Museum of Iowa. And, and if you know Iowa is now, it's a white state, and you'll be wondering, what is an African American museum got to do in Iowa? <laughs> what, uh, what, what are they doing there? Uh, just as w when I come here, people ask me, brother, you didn't find anywhere else to be but Iowa. What are you doing there? <laughs> I like the corn of Iowa, the sweetest corn on the planet. <laughs> so I, I have a lot of it, and I give it to, as, as presents to people. <laughs> so, you know, it, it's, it's interesting. I, I met the Tamo uh, several years ago and uh, got involved in what they were doing at uh, African American Museum in Cedar Rapids. And so you get a uh, snapshot of his views and, and what uh, they're doing there. We also had to take the, the message about healthcare. Uh, it's a very controversial issue. And uh, a lot of people here are very knowledgeable in that area now. But uh, someone had to talk about it here. There's some that affects also the blacks and African Americans. And so I by and large this is a volume. This is a book we're very proud of. And we're looking forward to the second stanza, the third stanza. It is looking at the book trilogy, the second volume. And we're already getting serious inquiries, those who are in the publishing industry understand the issue of foreign rights, getting books in different languages and getting them published in different countries. And that's where we are at the moment. We've got serious inquiries. And so this is a book that has lots and lots of prospects. And what more can I say than to tell you to don't just get for yourself. Get for your friends. Get for your neighbors. Get for your colleagues. Get for whoever needs to know about Obama and Black Thank you so much.